Okay, what video should I watch? Hmm. Oh, what's this? Hello and welcome to another video and today we are as you can see we are not even in the like normal area Because today we are going to be taking on some rela zombie related quizzes Which is seriously if you have if you have never done this before Please at least watch this video and then maybe try for yourself because this is so much fun seriously Let's give it a go. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel where today we're going to be doing a Call of Duty Zombies quiz or we're probably going to be doing a few and obviously I was inspired by my friend Neon Cookie because he did it in this video and I thought I'd be pretty interesting to do it myself to see sort of some of these quizzes and just see how good my knowledge is with the zombie storyline. So obviously if you want to go ahead and check out Neon Cookie's channel as well and check out his video uh, by all means his channel is going to be down in the description below if you want to go check them out. We're going to go ahead straight on into the which Call of Duty Zombies character are you and um, we're going to see if we're one of the four. So we got a bunch of questions here. So the first one, if your loved ones are hurt, how would you save them? Save the person no matter what the consequences. I hate making decisions. I won't save them, but they only lead me stronger. Neither, I will just lay down and cry. If your loved ones are hurt, how would you save them? Save the person no matter what are the consequences. I feel like that's, that's what I would do. Do you believe in anybody of their appearance or you just met? Yes, yes, but I need to get to know them first. I would never. I don't actually quite get this question, but I feel like it's basically saying, would you trust somebody on their appearance? And I would probably say yes, but I'd need to get to know them. Think fast, you're surrounded, what do you do? Kill everything in your way, find another way like a root. Well, of course you kill everything in your way. Wow, what a horrible weapon. Now what? Get stabbing, get a new one. We can't waste ammo, we must use it. Now personally, when I play zombies, I like to get a new one until I get a good weapon. But, a lot of the time you can't because, you, especially in the early rounds, you need to use that gun to get your points. So, I'm probably just going to say, we can't waste ammo, we must use it. Do you have confidence in you? Yes. Would you sacrifice yourself? Yes. No. I will, but only if there's a way I can survive. I don't have friends, I'm on my own. Would I sacrifice myself? Honestly, I probably wouldn't. I don't even know. Depends what the situation was. Pick a gun. The SMG, the assault rifles, LMG, sniper, shotgun, or melee. Now, I'm actually a pretty big fan of the assault rifles. Let's go assault rifles. Pick a map. Doriza, Moon, Shinonuma. Just one of the three. Okay, we're going to go with uh, Moon. I think that's my favorite out of the three. Uh, male or female? Aim a male. Somebody is down. What do you do? Revive no matter what. Leave them. Revive them anyway. They're going to hate me. Or revive them at a certain time. Now I would like to think when I play COD Zombies that I'm quite strategical and I'll revive them at a certain time when it's actually like safe to do so. And the last one, pick a perk. Quick revive, juggernaut, speed coder, or double tap. Uh, I'm gonna go with jug, maybe just because it's a pretty useful perk, it's quite useful. Uh, helps you to survive. And we get Tank Dempsey. Apparently I'm Tank Dempsey. I actually wouldn't disagree with that too much. But let's see what it says about me, aka Tank Dempsey, down below. You are a determined, persevered, and a picky person. I wouldn't even say I'm that picky, I'm quite indecisive about a lot of things and I can never make my mind up. You enjoy the things you do, but you complain over a little things in life. If your loved ones or friends ever get taken, you're always there to help. Wow, this grammar just really is. You are very helpful, people admire your determination, and in your head, there are many emotions to other people. Well, the whole reason I do YouTube and I do tutorials is to try and help people who are stuck on the game, so I guess in a way this is somewhat true. Okay, so we're going to do another quiz. This is actually quite an interesting one because uh, I would say I know quite a bit about the, the game, I guess. Like, I, I hopefully should know a lot about the storyline, so we're going to go do what I believe is a storyline quiz. What is the name of the crazy German scientist in the original crew? Dempsey, Dr. Maxis, Sam Mather, or Richthofen? It's obviously Richthofen, we're gonna go. Call of the Dead features which boss? The Hellhounds, Brutus, George Romero, or Samantha? And it's gonna be George Romero, I know that one. Obviously these are pretty simple so far. In the map Transit, there is a buildable wonder weapon. What is the name of this wonder weapon? The Thunder Gun, the Jet Gun, the Ray Gun, or a Pack Punch? And yet again, this is pretty simple. I'm sure any of you out there will know that's a jet gun. The QED is a weapon loved by many. Introduced in Moon, this tactical grenade has a random outcome. What is the full name of the QED? I'm not even going to bother reading all these out. It is the Quantum Entanglement Device. So we're going to go with that one. What are the names of the transit crew? Dempsey Nikolai Richthofen and Takio, Misty Russman Martin and Sulinger, 
Joe, Bob, Frank and Eleanor, Misty, Dempsey, Richtofen and Malton. And that bottom one would be quite an interesting sort of mix. But I'm going to have to say that it's Misty, Rustman, Malton and Sullinger. What happens to Richtofen and Samantha in the moon easter egg? They die. They switch bodies. They get teleported back to Earth. They sit down, have a cup of tea and talk about their day. Samantha and Richtofen switch bodies. Is the symbol monkey considered a wonder weapon? It is considered a wonder weapon because of the achievement in World at War that says have all the three wonder weapons or something. You had to have the ray gun, the wonder waffle, and the symbol monkey. So I'm going to say yes, it's considered a wonder weapon. What are the two wonder weapons that were introduced into Call of the Dead? Richtofen and Dempsey, I mean, they're just perfect wonder weapons right there. The Python and Sickle, the Ray Gun and the Thunder Gun, the VR-11 and the Scavenger. We're going to go VR-11 and the Scavenger. What is the original name for the Baby Gun or the Shrink Ray? The 3971JGB-33-5, the VR-11, the 3179JGB-215, or the 3719JGB-115. Now, I know for a fact it is actually the third one there, 3179JGB-215. Don't ask me how I know that one, I just love the gun. Who is the daughter of Dr. Maxis? Misty, Samantha, Samantha Jr. or Rechtofen? It's going to be Samantha. I don't even think Samantha Jr. is a thing. And yes, we get 100% of the... To be honest, that wasn't even like a hard quiz. So we're probably going to do another one to uh, hopefully get a harder one this time. Okay, so this is the second part created by the same person. So we're going to carry on. What is the name of the DLC 2 Zombies map in Black Ops 3? I'm sure you all know this is Zetsubo no Shima. Why is this Zetsubo twice? Is there a spelling mistake in one of them? Zetsubo no Shima. Oh, that one's got Sheena and that one's Shima. Okay, I get it. It's going to trick those people who wanted to speed through it. Who's the creator slash tailor of the Gobblegum slash Gobblegum machine? Dr. Monty, Dr. Maxis, Dr. Groff, Dr. Edward Richtofen. It's going to be Dr. Monty. I'm again sure you all know this. I feel like it's going to be all Black Ops 3 related. What is statistically the best Gobblegum in the game? And now... Statistica, I guess, is going to say Perkholic because all the others are nowhere near. Nowhere near as good. It's just such an OP Gobblegum. How much does Gobblegum cost in points in game? 750 points, 550, 500, or 1000. Depends what sort of hit you got, but I'm assuming it's going to say for your first hit, so it's going to be 500 points. What happens in the ending cutscene in Zetsubo no Shima? Tekio kills his future self. Richtofen kills Tekio, Dempsey kills Tekio, or Tekio kills himself. Now you all know that obviously Takio kills his future self. If you've never done the Easter egg, I'm sure you've probably seen the ending cutscene. What has to be done in order to save the universe of Black Ops 3 zombies? The future souls must be in the summoning key. The past souls must be in the summoning key. The zombie souls must be in the summoning key. All of the Easter eggs must be completed. So let's reread what has to be done in order to save the universe of Black Ops 3 zombies. So technically, yes, all the Easter eggs do have to be completed, but at the same time, I feel like it's going to be a bit more uh, formally said. So the future souls, I feel like it's going to be the past souls. It's technically like a different universe of the younger souls. So it's going to be the past souls of the, yeah, cool. Okay, the past souls of the characters. In Origins, what are the four elements of the staffs? So and finally, we've got a question that's not Black Ops 3, because Black Ops 3 is quite easy, actually, to know questions on. But we've got thunder, ectoplasm, wind, fire, wind, fire, lightning, acid, Thunder, Ice, Fire, Wind, Lightning, Wind, Ice, Fire. I'm trying to think right now. This is actually one that I'm trying to decide between the last two. And I feel like it's going to be... You've basically got Thunder and Lightning that are like being switched around right now. I definitely know there's Ice, Fire, and Wind. Uh, no, it's going to be the Lightning. I'm pretty sure it's the Lightning stuff. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of a thunder staff. So yeah, we're going to go the bottom one anyway. What is the element number that causes zombies to form? 935, 115, 116, or 228? Now, if you know zombies whatsoever, it's obviously going to be 115. What is the group that is trying to figure out the true powers of the summoning key? Group 935, Group 115, Division 9, or Dr. Maxis? Now, I'm pretty sure based off the image and whatnot, that it's going to be Division 9, because Division 9 was very big in Setsubo no Shima, and I'm pretty sure they're the ones as well that are trying to figure out the true power. So, it could be Group 935, I'm not 100% sure on that. And finally, this image sort of gives this question away without even properly looking at it, but what is chronologically the first Zombies map? Now, obviously, by chronologically, it means, like, the first Zombies map in the order, and... It doesn't mean as an order of release, but I'm pretty sure it means as an or in order of like the dates of the maps. So it's going to be Origins because Origins was 1918, I think it was. 
Oh, and we got 90%. Okay, we got 9 out of the 10 questions. Okay, so I got one of the questions wrong. I don't know which one it is. If you know which question I got wrong, then go ahead and put it down in the comments section below. We're going to do one more quiz, I feel like. Let's just find an interesting quiz to do to finish off this video. And we're going to go for which Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Wonder Weapon are you? So if we're going to go into that one, we're just going to again ask, answer six questions. So this one's going to be a short one. How do you prefer to get the Wonder Weapon? The Mystery Box, because I can get a load of points and open it, and building it takes way too much time. I'll just keep on buying the box until I get it. I'll build it, I'm not going to waste my money on that box. It may be long-winded, but at least you know you're definitely going to get it. Now this is one of those things where like, having it in the Mystery Box is good for all players all round, but then if you like building it, it's a lot more fun, but sometimes it'd be quite tedious. But I love building Wonder Weapons, especially in the Eisendracker. Like, maps like that, I just love building the Wonder Weapons, so I really don't know. But I'm going to go with building them, just because I prefer doing that and getting it randomly out of the box. Which type of gun would you rather have? One that you have to consistently reload, but it doesn't overheat. One that overheats, but you don't have to consistently reload it. So that's quite an interesting one, actually, because if you had Speed Cola, the reloading thing probably wouldn't even matter so much. But this question is basically asking you, would you prefer the Paralyzer or the Acid Gat, or any type of Blunder Gat from Mob of the Dead? And, uh... To be honest, I would feel like I'd rather one that you have to consistently reload, but it doesn't overheat. Because with speed coder, again, like, it doesn't take too long to reload. And even without speed coder, it's not going to be that bad. Which do you prefer? Camping in a good spot and shooting zombies when they come towards me. Training, running around with the zombies on your tail. Going around repeatedly, building the barriers unless you're in Nuketown. Wow, there's a lot of answers for this question. Walking around killing zombies as they get in your way and waiting for a drop perk, insta-kill, nuke, max ammo, etc. Trolling the zombies, teabagging crawlers and more, using your wonder weapon to finish the last wave of zombies off, watching these zombies slowly die, watching the zombies blow up, stunning the zombies, then killing them, making the zombies go flying. Now I forgot the question, which, well just which do I prefer? Which do I prefer? Well to be fair, when I play the game I just like to train. Running around with the zombies on your tail I guess that's a pretty good one to go for. I guess personally from my gameplay I train a lot so I'm just going to go with training. If you had to have one perk with your wonder weapon, which would it be? Not including pack punch. So if you had to have one perk with your wonder weapon, which would it be? Okay. So we got all the perks. Quick revive, speed coder, juggernaut, double tap, stamina, PhD flopper, mule kick, dash, daiquiri, electric cherry, and vulture raid. And there's no who's who either, but I guess from all these perks, which one would I have with a wonder weapon? I'll tell you what, it depends what wonder weapon you have, but I feel like, um... I feel like Electric Cherry would be a pretty cool choice to go for. We're going to go for Electric Cherry. It's a pretty decent pack to have. What's your favourite Black Ops 2 Zombies map? Transit. This includes Town Farm, Bus Depot, Survival Maps, and Turned on Diner. Newtown Zombies, Die Rise, Mob of the Dead, Buried, or Origins. Now, Transit can immediately be crossed out, even though that's like five maps, six maps, and one. Um, it's just not worth it. I don't like Transit. The others I actually really like, I like all of these maps. Honestly, I mean, to be fair, I like Transit as well, but just not, it's not going to be my favourite. Um, but I'm sort of torn between Mob of Dead, Buried and Origins. And now I'm going to go for the one I can actually play the best on, which is going to be Buried. And that's because it's a pretty easy map, to be fair. And the last question, which of these traits would you want your weapon to have? Have a sight so you can have good accuracy when firing. Have immense power in a single shot. Make me fly. Make the zombies dance weirdly. Kill a whole area of zombies at the press of a trigger. Have lots of ammo so you can spray bullets everywhere. It can revive my fellow players instantly. Shoots in three directions in one shot. Helps you with getting more than four perks. Can kill zombies from around the corner or create a hurricane. So again, there's just like a lot of choices to have. So if you had to pick one trait to have with your weapon. So really, I, I can deal with four perks. That one's immediately like crossed out. I'd say the one that would probably be the most like useful, I guess, with you is probably... I guess it could like I'm gonna say we're on a solo game so you don't have to really revive teammates either. I'm gonna say you kill a whole horde of zombies with a press of a trigger. I guess that one would be the most useful one, I guess. I don't know, but I don't really know. There's a lot of choice there, and I'm, like I said, I'm pretty indecisive, so I really don't know. Especially when there's a lot of choice. I'm the staff of lightning, okay. You like to zap your undead foes with this recently added beast of a wonder weapon. No time for the mystery box. You would rather craft your weapon. And like I said, I do like to craft my weapons. But anyway, that has been four quizzes this video. I hope this was something that you enjoyed. And if you do, go ahead and leave a like rating. And let me know down in the comment section below if you do like this type of video. 
like not necessarily zombies gameplay but videos that are zombies based i guess like quizzes and other ideas maybe that i'll have in the future i just thought this would be a bit of fun and something different so like i say if you do like it leave a like rating subscribe around here for more zombies content and as always i'll see you next time peace out